water distribution managers and operators face ever-increasing challenges to balance a list of drinking water regulations along with their own water quality controls. In managing disinfection and attempting to control disinfection byproducts, many have turned to chloramination for secondary disinfection. Chloraminating systems are, however, prone to nitrification-related accelerated disinfectant residual loss in high water age areas. An estimated two-thirds of medium and large systems in the U.S. that chloraminate experience nitrification to some degree. One-third of these systems have nitrification occurring to the degree that it causes operational problems. The other one-third likely have nitrification occurring, but to a lesser degree that is not considered problematic. Nitrification is a biological process where bacteria convert free ammonia first to nitrite and then to nitrate. Ammonia is present in drinking water naturally or by ammonia addition during secondary disinfection to form chloramines. Nitrification occurs in two steps. First includes the conversion of free ammonia to nitrite by nitrosonomas, ammonia oxidizing bacteria that are common in soils and the environment and second involves nitrobacter, nitrite oxidizing bacteria, then convert nitrite to nitrate. Left unchecked, nitrification can lead to disinfection depletion, which can permit the growth of chloroforms and other biofilm-related microorganisms, as well as reduced pH, alkalinity, and a decrease of dissolved oxygen. Controlling nitrification involves optimizing the chloramine treatment process and distribution system operation and maintenance to prevent occurrence. This is a difficult but not impossible balancing act for most water providers and is required in order to meet nationally and regionally legislated regulations and requirements. The use of chlorine in different forms for chlorination remains the disinfection of choice worldwide However, many utilities either have or are considering switching to chloramination. This is a process where ammonia is mixed with free chlorine to produce combined chlorine or chloramine. The AWWA Water Dictionary defines chloramines as disinfectants produced from the mixing of chlorine and ammonia. The general formula is NHXCLY, where X can be 0, 1, or 2, Y can be 1, 2, or 3. Typically, monochloramine and a small percentage of dichloramine are formed, depending on the pH and the chlorine to ammonia ratio that reacts. The intended result is to produce monochloramine, 